Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to complete the game on Hard Survival and try and do it in under an hour. And you want to start in the middle of the map like where I'm spawning now, which is right next to the center Cannibal Village. It's quite common that you will spawn here. And just grab everything. There's multiple reasons why I'm redoing this, because I've done it before, but things have changed. The main reason is that the end boss is really hard to kill. <laughs> like, it's a lot harder than it used to be. I don't know why they increased the difficulty, but it's, yeah, a lot harder. Mainly to do with the hitbox on the, the boss. Okay, so the reason I start in the middle of the map, see there's a big tree down there, it's known as King's Hill. And yeah, the Katana Cave is just over there. The center cannibal village is up there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, is going to recoup my stamina. Quickly make that. Quickly make that as well. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do this without killing any animals. So I can get the vegan achievement, which I've already got. I'm just showing you how to get the vegan achievement. Because it's actually quite a difficult one to get. So it means you can't get the turtle shell and try and get down to the bottom of the sinkhole. Because, yeah, that's quite difficult to do. It's actually really, really hard to do. So I'm coming up here. I'm going to show you where I'm going to be going. I'm going to open these suitcases and get the flares from it. The easiest way to finish the end boss or kill it in general is just to use the flare gun on it. There we go. Can't carry anymore. Because the hitbox on the boss now is really freaking crap. It's really hard to actually hit the thing. Ah, oh, there's aloe and stuff around here, eh? I should get it. And the suitcases and stuff. Yeah, the hitbox is really bad. Using bows and arrows and the gun, etc. is almost impossible to hit her with it. And I should note that this video is going to contain spoilers. So where the flare gun is, it's in the north part of the map in the snow. So it's a bit of a long hike, but the weapon is really good against the end boss. You can't miss with it. So it's going to run up to the snow area and get it. Now, if you're doing this, I wouldn't recommend doing it on hard survival because it is a lot more difficult. And I mean, it's a lot more. The end boss is much tougher. Oh, crap. Nearly stabbed that rabbit out of habit. <laughs> oh, damn it. I've already got the achievement, but um, you just can't kill any animals whatsoever, even birds and stuff. So be careful. Like even cutting down trees, you can drop a, a tree on an animal and it will kill it. And you don't really want that. Now this isn't uh, like a speedrun as such because speedrunners use glitches and stuff. I'm not going to be using any glitches. So this is how you can do it legit 100% of the way. I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to be going this way. Now I recommend you go and get the flare gun first out of everything. The reason being is that you can only carry 10 flares and you're going to need a lot of ammo to take down the end boss. So if you've got the flare gun, you can make up the flares as you're going along. Whereas if you go and get, say, the rebreather first, and there's like 15 flares in that cave, you won't be able to make the ammo because you can't carry any more than 10. So that's why I'm saying get the flare gun first. Main issue is that it's actually quite a bit of a detour. Now I'm on the east side of the map of the where the snow is. And you just got to keep heading along here. You can actually see it in the far distance. I don't know if you can see it. It's right on the tip of my spear down the bottom. Because the plane is white and the snow is white, it blends in quite well. It'd be quite hard to see. Here it is here. There's a pilot outfit if you want it. Doesn't serve any purpose. There's a flare gun. If you're not getting the vegan achievement, get a turtle shell before you <laughs> come up here because you could just slide down all the way down. It's so much quicker. So where I'm heading now is to where the key card is, I believe. Or the rebreather, depending how much I get lost. Oh, if you see berry bushes along the way, might pay to eat them. Stay on top of your energy. Now this is croc territory we're entering in here. It's not a big deal on hard survival because barely any animals spawn. Though, if you're on normal mode, there's going to be heaps here. Ah, uh, planes going overhead above the clouds. Okay, while well, I'm waiting, I'm going to start assigning things. So, that to number three. Spear to number two. I might put sodas at number four, just for now. Because once you get a lot, you can just keep pumping soda to keep your energy up. Oh, I shouldn't have gone this way. Should have went around that way. Or maybe. I should be right. Gives you a 50 stamina every time you take a soda. 
can keep you going a bit further. Okay, enemies are just up ahead. It's two meeting up. You don't really want to deal with them if you can avoid it. So, I'm running around a sinkhole. You can go that way and go to the film crew camp. I thought it would be a good idea, but the thing is, there's only one case that has flares in it. So it's three flares, and it's actually quite difficult to find. This is right in the middle of the freaking forest. It's a pain to find. I like to stick to my landmarks. Follow, you know, they're around the sinkhole, rivers, the ocean, that sort of stuff. So you don't get lost. Coming through here, you could save at one of these tents if you liked. And there's two rope in here if you want to go down that route. Get them. I'm just going to grab them because why the hell not. I'm going to have a timer up for this one. And I'm going to fast forward a lot of the scenes where I'm just running in a straight line because it's just boring. I don't think you really need to watch someone move in a straight line. I think everyone could accomplish that. Coming up here. And this is the cave you want. It's sitting at the top of the hill. It's very close to those shipping containers down there. Geese Lake's just over there. Oh, I missed the bloody entrance. It's there. Okay, it's bloody dark in here. Oh god, I got stuck. Just keep heading down. You can save here too, if you want to. This is pretty easy to navigate this cave, as providing you're just going to the keycard location. There's some supplies down there. If you're interested, but it's just a few bones and stuff. I kept getting caught on the bloody cave walls. Okay, we're going to go down here, and there's three cannibals down here. So, what I recommend you do is actually conserve your stamina before. I'm just going to take a soda quicker. Uh, go halfway, then drop down, run past, go to the end of this barricade. And what I like to do is let's just stand here and block and wait for them to open it. There we go. And then you get to here and there's an armsy and babies down here. Uh, it's not too hard to deal with so I'm going to jump down the side here. And what I'm going to do, run down here. There's the key card there. Okay, I got it. Get the armsy to follow you all the way down then leg it to the rope. Because otherwise he'll hit you in the back. So you drag that armsy all the way to the end of the room. Then run back. And you should be able to do it without them hitting you. Should. And as you come here, these cannibals are probably still going to be here. You could actually allow them to probably kill each other. Okay, that was really easy, but that's enough. I'm not going to kill the last one. It's going to go up. Hopefully he doesn't hit me in the back. It's optional. You can kill him if you want. It will take some time though. Okay, I'm going to head up here. If you get the rebreather first, you'll get the rusty axe, which is actually really good for blocking. And that can help if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff, bypassing enemies. The only problem with the rusty axe is that it has one of the worst fire upgrades in the game, so... The flame on it doesn't last long at all. Okay, we're going to go out. What we're going to do is run around and go up here. All the way across here. And we're going to the rebreather cave, which is cave 5. It's probably the easiest cave in the game because it's all in one straight line. And I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's no big mutants in it. Oh, sick case there. So you run along here. You can come up through here. Just try and stick to the ocean so you know where you are. Because it's actually right on the edge near this big tree up here. There it is. There's the big tree right up there. And the cave entrance is right next to it. Sort of. That's some um, marigold here which can be used with the aloe to make herbal medicines if you're into that stuff. Here's the cave entrance here. The blue tent uh, is just down there. Okay, so before I go down, I'm just going to quickly make up that uh, blur gun ammo. There we go. And climb down. Now, this part's actually really hard if you plan on killing them. Because there's two skinnies and they're just... <laughs> I always struggle with it. I don't know why. But there's a lot of resources down here like um, cloth and stuff in these boxes and that. But I'm going to skip all that. Uh, these two guys here. Just going to run past them. Yeah. 
let them open it for me like that. I'm going to walk down here to conserve stamina. They can't follow you down here. Because there's two more cannibals here. And I want to avoid them. So just go quickly bypass them. I'm going to jump down here. Like that. You can take the rope. It's probably more safe of it. Whatever's clever. Okay, once you get to the bottom. Let's run along here. Yeah, speed. You sprint. You can get down the rope quicker. There's a rebreather. That's what you need. And you're just doing a lot of swimming now. Now stop here, because there's a lot of flares here. But there's also babies, so what you do is you kind of, um... Provoke them into jumping in the water. I think there's three or four. You don't want to get hit by them. Okay. Yep, looks like they're all dead. Get the supplies, like the soda there. Uh, what else? Sticks. There's the flares, that's what you want. I don't want what's in here, nothing. And more soda down here. And there's some meds in the wall. There we go. Jump back in and keep heading on. Okay, there's more flares and air tanks here. Yep, that's all good. The rocks, use them to place on here. You don't need, I only need three. And then you go through. And there's heaps of supplies in here, like flares and stuff. What I'm going to do is light this fire here and get sort of warm so I can make the rest of the flare gun ammo. There we go. And pick up any other supplies that I need. Rusty axes there, you want that. And just find all the flares you can. I think there's about 10 in here or something like that. We'll run around pressing E on everything. You're bound to pick up the flares. They seem to be in the ground a lot of the time. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to use another air canister since I've got spares. And I'm going to put the rusty axe as number one. And that can be my blocking weapon. So I can add a cloth to that. Because I might need it. And also, upgrade a stick. Put that as number two. I don't really need the spear anymore. And more sodas. And I might eat something. <gasps> I'm going to have to use booze. I can't believe I don't have any snacks. Usually I get snacks. Maybe there wasn't any on the plane. Uh, another Bible. Once that's done, go for a swim. You could actually finish this game with one air canister. The one that you originally start with. It's always good to have a little bit of a insurance policy, I guess. So go up here. And I don't think there's anything here. Just skulls. You could make a crafted club. They've got good fire upgrades on it and a decent block. Same as a modern axe. Okay, there's a snack here, which I am going to partake in eating. Then I'm going to keep moving. If you want, you can make a crafted bow along the way, but I'm not going to be using it. Because I got all those modern arrows. It would actually be handy if I planned on killing anything. Eight seconds underwater in caves will make you cold. Just letting you know. So I've got the penguins here. These are penguins. They drop penguin heads. They're actually geese. Okay, let's get out. It's raining, which is just absolutely lovely. It's going to make it more cold. Now I'm heading left because there's heaps of berries here. These are blackberries. These ones are safe. I'm eat them. Part of my vegan diet. Because I'm morally superior to everyone else who eats meat, etc. What I'm going to do is you head left. Oh, well, you come out of water. That's Geese Lake where you come out. And you come across this open field. This is where I built it season two, I believe. And it was a nightmare because it was in the open. Because they got attacked. The most annoying places. I go up along here instead. It's a bit more quiet. Enemies go along that beach a lot. And that's the sinkhole right to your right. I don't really need the rebreather, so I'm going to take it off because it just takes up a lot of the this screen. Can't see as much. Okay, we're heading for the land bridge. There's some tents there if you wanted to save. Those same ones that we passed before. Yes, getting the flare gun kind of makes it a bit tedious because you got to go backwards and forwards a bit. Oh, that's okay. That's cannibals right there. Land bridge is really dangerous, just let you know. 
you're always gonna have a lot of fun here. It's pretty rare that you can cross here without encountering enemies. And also be careful that crocodiles can spawn up here. And they will bite you. I think two hits will kill you. Seems about right. So where the land bridge is, you're heading directly straight along it. Just check they're not facing, they're not chasing me. Oh, bloody torch went out. Hashtag bring back the fire upgrade plus. So if you head straight, you'll end up directly at the cave, which is cave seven. And this is the cave that leads down to the sinkhole. If you want to get down there legit. There's ways you can glitch down them, but uh, they're always getting patched out. Can never keep up with it. Uh, heaps of passengers here. Some watches if you're inclined. You don't need them. Okay, I'm going to get Rusty Axe out. Because there's enemies down here in an armsy. I'm going to run past them all. I should be blocking. And then run up to this barricade here. And just block. This will be a bit scary, but the, the Rusty Axe will prevent all damage. Okay, once you pass them, and go up along here. You're going to go down here, but I actually need explosives. Oh god, it's chasing me all the way over here. There's more soda here, if you need it. I might get it because I just drank two. Now there's quite a few babies over here. But the only thing you need is cloth as well. Is the dynamite and flares. So, just keep moving. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, I burst open the box. Which I need. Oh, they're drowning themselves in that water. That wasn't exactly professional of me. Oh, cloth. Just keep your weapon up and blocking. Okay, don't need the rebreather. Automatically equips when you go into cave water. Gonna go up here. Those enemies should spawn, respawn back in there. I can't follow you too far, they'll just move back to the original point. Some snacks, soda and bones here. Torch, red paint. Get the red paint and try and keep it on as long as you can. Don't get wet, son. Don't get wet at all. Okay. Let's get up here. Keep climbing down. Oh, that's a story item. Okay. Sit down here. You gotta jump over there. And this can be quite hard. You might have to double jump at the end. Ooh, I had to triple jump then. It's a bit scary, that one. That's a scary one, I think. Okay, once you're down here, you gotta jump across here. Just gotta wait till I get a little bit more stamina. There we go. Nice and easy. Come to this rope here. Okay, now careful if you want to keep your red paint, there's um, water there, and there's a few babies. Babies ignore the red paint, the cannibals might or might not, just don't move near them otherwise you'll aggro them. Get down here, they might follow you, but there's a little space here you gotta climb through. Now you're coming along here, and there's this little window, you're actually going to get into this room here. If you make them angry, you might not actually need explosives, because I'll just come to you and knock down the barricade for you. Which hopefully they will. Might save, like, a precious five seconds. You can't blow that open. There's a explosive symbol that says you can, but it doesn't blow it open. There you go up here. You can save here if you like, which I might do. And then as you come up here, there's two cannibals, I think. Just stand in here. Yep. G'day, guys. Don't run up this way, this is the way I'm going. Run the other way. Okay. Where is it? There's this little thing here, and there's meds in here if you need them, and snacks. This barricade here, you need to take down. I drank a soda, so it's easy to knock down. Okay. Try to not move near him if you've got red paint. Oh god, that was difficult. And as soon as you go around here, take a hard left. Modern bow's over there, and there's a lot of Virginias and babies and everything in here. It's dangerous as all hell. Okay, just check if they follow me. I don't think they did. You don't really want them hitting you in the back. There we go. And there's more cannibals in here. Just gonna run past them. And jump in the water. 
which is going to make me lose my red paint. That's okay, there's no other way. You could try and skim along here, but I think you're not passing much anyway. Keep ducking to get the light from the rebreather. Okay. Come up here. Now, that armsy, because I alerted him, he knocked it down for me. I didn't actually need explosives. Run past him, you jump up here. Like this. And you've got to find... This. Need more rocks, I should have got more. Place three on here. There we go. I'm going to run down here. Don't get hit by him. And there's a few cannibals here. This can be hard, this part. Ah, crap. Oh, you just hit the armsy. Alright. This is not a good position to be in. Okay. I couldn't place the rocks on the pedestal when I was blocking. Oh. I didn't know you could do that. God. Wasn't expecting them to follow me out this far. Ah, oh, meds. Start healing now. I don't think they're going to follow me over here. I hope not. So I don't really want to walk backwards along this thing. Be dangerous. Ooh, that was a little bit scary, son. Okay, I'm going to leave the rebreather on. Because we're going out to the sinkhole now. This is actually the sinkhole we're in now. I think. Take a snack. Get the energies up. And place some stuff on there. Now you need to get into the pond that's in the middle, but there's actually a lot of enemies out here. So I might pay to heal up and stuff first, which I probably should have, but I'm an idiot. I think you can climb up here. There's a machete down there if you want it. There's a lake. It's right next to the helicopter. You don't want to... There's too many things that can kill you here, like there's that... There's two cowmen, an armsy... Heaps of cannibals. It's just not fun, mate. It's just not fun at all. Okay, so sit down here. Swim all the way. This is why you need the rebreather for this part. Because I don't think you can swim it without the rebreather. You just won't have enough oxygen. And there we go. Can light this on fire. Get warmed up. Then I can take this uh, rebreather off. And there's three or four cannibals just up here. They can be a bit tricky to get past. And they have masked cannibals too, so they're the tougher ones. And they will chase you up here. Sprung along here. And it looks like they didn't chase me. Usually they will. I don't know if there's many items in there though. Uh, video tape there. I'd recommend climbing down this one. Some bones there. You need them. Probably should have grabbed them. Could have made one piece of bone armor. That's something. You gotta jump up here. And over here. Oh, I ran out of stamina mid-flight. <laughs> Jeez, that wasn't good. And you gotta head down here. Now what I like to do, and this is completely up to you, because this part's really dangerous. I actually just like to try and sneak past everything here. Because there's like cowmen, armsies, and cannibals down here. So I'm just going to try and sneak. I don't recall if having the lighter out reveals your position. Oh, what? I said I was still invisible. Alright, stuff it. I got this far. Just going to run the rest of the way. These cannibals could actually drown in this water here. It's quite funny. Okay, this is your last point to save. I'd recommend you save here. And it's Hearts of written on the save, just so you know. Oh! Where are you? Bastard's getting behind me. And you just run up here. And then you come to the big door. So this is where spoiler territory really starts to happen. Ooh, she's laggy, son. Okay, there's the big red corridor. Um, run up here. There's more red paint up there. You don't really need it. Should have really got those bones. There's bones up here. I think there's many, though. 
Probably not enough for a bone armor. Just anything you can help to protect yourself against the end boss is good. Now this is pretty easy to navigate. It's just all like a straight line. Climb this rope and this takes you into the cafeteria. If you use the vending machines here and the coffee pot, you can get um, achievements here. You can also use coins on these things, but I don't have any coins, I don't think. But um, I'm going to eat as much food and stuff as I can. Some other stuff here. That's all good. You can't take those vending machines with you at <laughs> the end game. Just stick them in your house, that'll be handy though. Okay, drop down here. I wonder what day it is, actually, I might quickly check. Oh, I'm infected. Um, day one, so I'm going pretty good for time. And I might take another medication. There we go. There's babies here, I don't want to deal with them. That's apparently what the worm's name is, John. Coming around here, there is an armsy. As far as I'll sprinkle as there, you set that off and you get an achievement as well. If you're inclined. That's my ex-girlfriend. I say Mishuma, sorry, get them mixed up. Keep going. Up here, some crayons if you want to draw. You can't really, that's just story item. Go along here. Drop down. It's a water cooler here, if you're thirsty. Along in here. It's surprisingly very inactive, this place. There's a couple of cannibals in here, I think. One. Oh, I could get a stealth kill. Oh, no. You turned around. You weren't supposed to turn around. Now, this bit's a bit tricky because there's babies in here and you've got to get around them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get them to jump over this way. Block them. Jump over this bed and go through here. And through here. And you go up to this. And this is spoiler territory. Major spoiler. Can't skip this. Okay, once that's done, you can go and visit the red man, he's in there. Have a good chat with him. Come through here. Oh no, that's a locked door, what am I doing? Okay, there's cannibals in here, just so you know. Some food and stuff, you want to kill them. Might be good for bone armor. It's only two, so they'll give you two pieces, that might help. You can sleep here, you can't save though. We're going up in here. And you've got to go all the way to the end of here. But what I'm going to do... going to make up the rest of this blue gun ammo. And that leaves me with 32, so that should be enough. And what I'm going to do... Is... Switch the... I'm going to put some soda in number 4. 
which was already the case. I've got six bones, so I can make one piece of bone armor. I'm going to move the flare gun number two, dynamite number three, and that should be good enough. I'm going to try and use all the dynamite straight away. It's hard to hit it with dynamite though, but dynamite's got a massive explosive radius thing. I might eat a snack just to get that last bit of energy. I'm going to see if I can light this first and see what happens when I go up. <laughs> Don't worry, it doesn't explode in your hand. this fight man it's so hard okay oh didn't oh a good way to start that was a good hit oh that woke it up there we go take that Now I like to try and keep my distance uh, to about here because it's easier to dodge their attacks. And also, you can use the flare gun to cancel one of their attacks. Now I'm going to block for a bit because I need to... Oh god, that actually hurt. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't think this is going to go well. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Ah, damn it. It's all good. Respawn. You don't have to do as much damage to him. This is just hard because <laughs> I keep running out of stamina. You just don't want to get hit by the spinny attack. Because that's just going to rip you to shreds. What I'm going to do... I sh probably should have killed those um, cannibals. I'm going to drink some coffee. It's going to give me energy. There we go. And I should have taken the meds first. You're probably going to die a few times when you're doing this. Now I heard there's a trick that you can um, fight her down this end. You can hide in here. I don't know how true that is though. And once she spots you, she charges at you. And it's near impossible to dodge it. I just want to see if she'll head down this way. Yep, yeah, there we go. Got her. Before she could hit me. Oh! You're kidding me. <laughs> I got caught. I couldn't escape it. You die as many times as you want. You just keep respawning. Oh, the freaking cannibals are right there. Oh, no stamina whatsoever. Yeah, maybe kill them. The health regen on hard survival is insane. When she stops screaming, you can attack her. There we go. Got there in the end. Can't believe I only needed three more shots. 
Oh, if you kill it with a flare gun, it just keeps screaming. It's a new bug. That should be fixed soon. Maybe. So we grab the body and then we run back to the room where Timmy was in. And then you put it in this thing here. Good animations. Get the key card. Place it on here. Run up here. Shoot this. And it explodes. I think they're in the boss room. You can use them to hurt the boss. I can't remember. I don't remember seeing any though. So there's no more enemies from here on out. Slide down here. You jump in this water here. If you haven't refilled your canister, there's a good chance it can run out during the swim. And when it runs out, you start drowning immediately. Let's get through here, jump out. Skulls or rocks, whatever you choose. Probably should have drank more soda. That probably would have kept me alive when I was fighting the end boss. So yeah, there's no items along the way here, as far as I can tell. Come through here, make sure you run, and then you kick these. Ah, oh, that was a bad kick. That's a big shadow of a gun, isn't it? Come in here, and this is an orgy that went wrong. Oh, this head thing here. If you drink out of that, you get an achievement. I think it's called Gross, the achievement. Drink out of the cooler with a head in it. Or drink out of the cooler that has a head in it. I don't know how to word that one. Run through here. Drop down here. Come up to this elevator. Press the button. Then we go up again. Once that's open, it takes a while. I don't know why, because it loads pretty much instantly. I suppose it's just to add realism. Let's keep going. There's no items. Second artifact. Now here's important. This ending unlocks creative mode and ends the game. This ending allows you to continue playing, but you don't unlock creative mode. So you need to pick wisely. That's why you save at that tent before the door. Because then you can do this ending, get on, get creative mode, then reload, and then do this ending. So this is creative mode. You gotta press E to confirm. And then you watch all the cutscenes, which I'm gonna leave running. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. My next guest is a TV star, author, and real-life plane crash survivor. Here to talk to us about his new book, Rescue, along with his son, Timmy. Please, give it up for Eric LeBlanc. Nice to meet you, man. That's one hell of a story. So let's jump right into it. You've written a harrowing tale of survival and adventure with a plane crash. Look, you can see it on the cover. I feel like you're really blurring the lines here between fact and fiction. Oh, is that the axe? Hey, do y'all want a demonstration? Okay, we've got a setup right over here. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Come on, everyone. All of you want to see this too, right? What do you say? Well... Come on, everyone. Yes! All right. Grab Timmy and let's head on over. Watch your step now. I 
I got my axe. Where do you hold this thing? Oh, oh, like this? Here we go. Huh? Is he okay? 